Word Nerds. Today I'm going to talk about why I think that writing is a little bit like cooking. When I was taking a creative writing class in college, one of the big discussions we had was what constitutes creativity. This subject is kind of a constant ongoing debate in the artistic world. Is creativity a gift that only some people have, or is it a skill that you can learn? What qualifies something or someone as creative? Can fan fiction be creative? When I think about these questions in relation to writing, I like to compare to what I think about other artistic endeavors. And since one of my other hobbies other than reading is cooking, today I thought that we would take a moment to see what we can learn from cooking in relation to creativity in our writing. As a cook, you create a dish using ingredients and techniques that you already know. We do the same thing when creating a story. You bring together the writing style, genres, character traits, world building that you have found throughout your experience and your reading. The important thing to point out with cooking is that you have to know some basic skills before you start cooking fancy dishes or making up your own recipes. You have to eat a lot. You have to cook some simple dishes first. You have to be familiar with the techniques, the ingredients, the tools in your kitchen. While this is something that we would not question at all in cooking, it's something that we tend to overlook in writing. If you don't know the basic ratios of sugar to butter to flour that go into a basic chocolate chip cookie recipe, then good luck trying to invent your own kind of cookies. You are not going to write a best-selling book until you have learned all the basics of your craft. Another important point with cooking is that no recipe is going to be 100% nothing you have ever seen before. I mean, I guess if you are a farmer or a gardener and you are really good at cross-pollination and breeding of plants, you might be able to come up with a bunch of ingredients we've never heard of before. I don't know, that's the only way I can see it happening. And even outside of the ingredients and techniques used, pretty much every new recipe created by someone is going to be inspired by dishes that already exist. I mean, if someone comes up with a really cool new combination for pizza toppings, we're not going to say it's less worthwhile just because pizza already exists. But we do say that about books. We say, Hunger Games is already popular, so this other dystopian can't possibly be creative or unique. One of my favorite recipes is my mom's tortilla soup. The story behind this soup is that my mom went to a friend's house and she had tortilla soup and she really liked it, but she said, you know what, I would like it better if these certain things were different. So she went home and she experimented and she changed things and she came up with a recipe that was pretty different from the original. It was still tortilla soup and it still used some of the ingredients from the original soup and it used ingredients from other foods that we had eaten, but it was still new and delicious and the best soup that I have ever had. And that really is how I think of creative writing. It's when you read a book and you say, I love this character, and it'd be really cool to see what they would do in this different setting. And then you read another book and you say, I really like this concept, but it'd be even cooler if the character had magic. Of course, you don't just stop there and say, I'm going to rewrite this person's book, but with a character that I like better. So you continue to collect ingredients and techniques from all the different books you read and you bring that together into your own new unique book. And that is creativity to me. So what are some of your thoughts on creativity? What do you think is required for someone to be creative? Let me know in the comments and just so you know there will not be a Word Nerds live chat this Sunday. Enjoy the Super Bowl, eat lots of food, watch the funny commercials, and we will see you this Sunday after that, February 8th, where we will be talking about our writing processes. I'll see you next week. Bye!